Alrighty, so we're gonna have a mini construction update and then I'm gonna go into the teasers a little more as promised yesterday. So not too much is going on at the park anymore as they are done construction on 50% of the land. So we know that the Lift Hill Station break run area is done. Footers are just curing. They're waiting for vertical. We're hearing vertical construction will start before the end of July. Fingers crossed that that information is true and uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Teasing has started. The teasing campaign is already off to um, a pretty epic start. I know for sure this is for Wonderland now with the park and Tony Clark recognizing it. Um, so now we can kind of dive into a bit of the information. So what's unique about this is it ties our coaster into the whole kind of like Maverick area theme. So we now know it's definitely gonna be some sort of gold rush, kind of gold theme to it. Um, the question is, will it incorporate Ziz or some sort of Valraven style bird as well with the Valraven logo on it? And what does the Valraven logo have to do with this piece of information? Does this hint at our dive coaster being larger than Valraven? Or is it suggesting it has Valraven's stamp of approval, thus it being smaller? Who knows? So a couple of things is the number 17 in the bottom right corner. We figured out that number, it is number 17. That is Canada's Wonderland's coaster count with this coaster being built. 3,501 feet on the right, 3,215 feet on the left. Most unique, 137 MCBR. So what I can assume is, um, and I, I don't want to use the word assume because that's so ugh, but um, this is what a lot of people are talking about. And I don't know if I believe it or not, but people are suggesting that you take 3,501 3, feet, subtract 3,215 feet. It gives you, um, I think it was 286 feet. So some are suggesting this coaster could be 286 feet tall, excluding the drop bringing it into the Giga um, territory. I'm not sure I believe that. I, um, I'm i starting to think that our coaster may be 215 feet um, tall with three inversions and the uh, mid course brake run might be 137 feet in the air and um, the length of track will be 3,501 feet and it's Wonderland's 17th coaster and it's going to have the most unique dive coaster layout. Um, now, with that being said, it would be shorter than Valraven in height, but it would have a larger drop than Valraven with these um, predictions and numbers. Um, with that being said, I do know from seeing blueprints, I don't think there's four inversions on this coaster. It would have four at max. Um, there is a little bit where we don't know what it's doing, but it's a very small portion. Um, and uh, I just don't see it having four inversions. So I'm guessing that you know, it's three inversions, comma, um, 215 feet tall, 137 foot tall MCBR. Um, we know that the MCBR is pretty late in the coaster layout from what we can tell. I don't see it early on. We know that it's going to be the most unique dive coaster at this point. It's Wonderland 17th coaster and 3,501 feet of track. We know it goes pretty far, so that would make it longer than Valraven. Um, so for those of the for those that have been saying this will not break any records at all, I do disagree with you. I think it's pretty evident this coast is going to break records. Maybe it won't break the actual height record. Who knows? We we need to see more at this point. But I'm loving the fact that they're going to tie in Canada's Wonderland's new coaster to Cedar Point um, and this whole Cedar Creek Mining Company. This is amazing. Um, is there's just so much to digest here. Um, what kind of storyline are we going to see with Maverick? Could it be? Maverick went to Canada to start up his mining company and expand there. And by doing so, he ended up awakening this bird like creature in the mines. Um, is it going to be this whole, you know, um, Maverick is trying to outdo Steel Vengeance um, since he just got outdone by Steel Vengeance? Is he outdoing, um, you know, Steel Vengeance? Of course, not actually outdoing it. A dive coaster can't compete with Steel Vengeance. <laughs> Please don't at me in the comments down below. But is he trying to build the next big thing? And he's building a big mining operation in Canada with the, the biggest dive coaster in the world. Who knows? I mean, this, te this teaser doesn't solidify it being smaller than Valraven. I'm just discussing all possibilities. Um, it's very interesting that Valraven's logo is on the bottom there. So... <laughs> Who knows? Um, I definitely want to hear from you guys. What do you guys think about all this? 
And do you think that, uh, do you agree with the three being inversions, 215 feet tall, 137 foot tall MCBR, 3,501 feet of track, and the 17th coaster with the most unique layout? Do you think that's it? Or do you think some of these numbers are just throwing us off? Comment down below. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. We are definitely keeping a close eye on everything. The final pieces for the station are arriving tonight. Um, so vertical construction should be starting soon. And we have a feeling Wonderland will start its teasing campaign on our side of the border very shortly. Thanks for watching, guys. Give the video a like, subscribe if you haven't, and uh, head on over to our Instagram and Patreon if you want to um, help support us more. Have a good one, guys. Bye.